Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. A former local radio talk show host has decided to run for a seat in the State House of Representatives. Sue Henry, who for 16 years was the midday host on WILK News Radio, is entering into the race for the 121st seat that's currently held by Eddie Day Pashinsky. Henry will enter the race on the Republican ticket, replacing Greg Wolovich, who chose to withdraw from the race. Wolovich asked the Republican County Committee to join him in endorsing and supporting Henry. Henry is a graduate of King's College, Wilkesbury. She resides now in Hanover Township and is the mother of three children. Last month, Henry left WILK News Radio after not signing a new contract with their parent company, Intercom Radio. Before working at WILK, Henry worked for the Citizens Voice. She's also a member of the adjunct faculty at King's College in the Speech and Mass Communications Departments. The Schuylkill County District Attorney's Drug Task Force, Pottsville Police and State Police seized over $9,000 worth of drugs on Thursday, leading to a Pottsville man's arrest. A search warrant was executed on Montetongo Street, where agents found 17 grams of heroin and fentanyl and 8 grams of meth, along with prescription pills and suspected cocaine. 53-year-old David Norman Murphy was arrested and charged with possession with intent to deliver controlled substances. He was arraigned in Pottsville and is now in the Schuylkill County Prison for failure to post $300,000 bail. 38-year-old Jethro Mondelice of Kingston was convicted June 6th for the distribution of cocaine. Mondelei sold cocaine to a police informant on three different occasions, which led to his arrest. The Kingston Police Department executed a search warrant, which resulted in the discovery of cocaine and drug scales, along with $1,500 in cash in his bedroom. After several hours of deliberation, the jury returned a guilty verdict for the distribution of cocaine. Mondelei now faces up to 20 years imprisonment for the crime. The Hazleton Zoning Board conducted hearings last night at City Hall for cases requesting operations of medical marijuana facilities. PAMJ LLC is looking to operate a medical marijuana growing and processing facility at 322 Rocky Road, which is located near the Helping Hands Society School in Hazleton. The executive director of Helping Hands, Mary Beth Koch, and president of the board of directors, John Rogers, both testified at the hearing. Questions were asked as to how far away a grower and processor can operate from a school or daycare facility. Russell Kutcher also went before the zoning board requesting to operate a medical marijuana dispensary at 309 West 21st Street. We may soon find out development plans for the former St. Joseph's Hospital on Church Street. The building has sat vacant for numerous years and was recently purchased by Woodcrest Capital, a Texas-based real estate and investment capital firm. The firm is expected to meet with city officials within the next few weeks to share development plans and to prevent code violations from continuing. The property has been cited 32 times for various violations, each one carrying around a $1,000 fine. Plans so far to convert half of the first floor into senior citizen apartments and the rest of the space into an assisted living facility, which will be done in phases. Schuylkill County will use interns to help keep their offices staff during the summer months. The county will take advantage of a state program through the State Career Link. The county commissioners hired five interns to work in different offices, such as Human Resources, the Controller's Office, District Attorney's Office, and in the Treasurer's Office. Career Link will reimburse the county with state money for their salaries while they're employed for the summer. Since the state reimburses it for salaries, the county 
loses no money as a result of the program. Coming up on WYLN News, what's with that water? Plus, can't make it in the restaurant? Julia Wiegan tells us how you can get the products at home. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Cloudy overnight, the low 56. Clouds and sun tomorrow, the high near 81. And for Sunday, looks like clouds and a high of 71. We'll be right back. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Appliances are right over there, and this is part of our furniture department. Okay, but I'm looking for a mattress. Well, you've come to the right place. Grand Central is Northeast Pennsylvania's number one Sealy mattress dealer. We have Sealy mattress sets from only $199 and Stearns and Foster Queen sets from only $45 per month. We also have interest refinancing up to 60 months. And remember, delivery and takeaway are absolutely free. So we don't have to do anything? Not if you buy your Sealy mattress at Grand Central. It looks like I did find the right place to buy a Sealy mattress. Grand Central and Hazleton. The right are you in good hands? Call Gary McNeilis of Allstate Insurance for all your insurance needs. The McNeilis Agency has two locations to conveniently serve you, 1092 North Church Street in Hazel Township and Hometown Village Square in Hometown. Their quality service-oriented agency will make sure you get the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Call in Hazel Township at 570-454-1981 or in Hometown at 570-668-5133. Are you in good hands? Did you know there's a geyser in Schuylkill County? It's in the woods near Ashland. It's located along Big Mine Road in Butler Township along the Mahanoy Creek. The geyser itself is on private property, but you can see it from the road as you drive by. Residents who live on Big Mine Road say they're used to seeing cars go by and checking it out. They say depending on recent rainfall, the water can shoot up to 20 feet in the air. The Powerhouse Eatery in Whitehaven now allows its customers to order some of their favorite products on their now online store. WILN's Julia Wiegand has the delicious details. Powerhouse Eatery customers can now order their favorite unique products online to have them delivered to their home, free shipping. Powerhouse Eatery is known for offering a fine dining experience in the historical atmosphere of an old power plant. Their online store is now live to sell products that have been classics since the restaurant's debut in 1989. The idea stemmed from observing the new marketing trend of ordering pre-portioned and pre-prepared foods right to your home. So it provides the customer with a whole new experience. A customer that we might not normally see in our restaurant can also you know, join us basically through their house using our recipes and our content that we post online. So we see it as like an exciting thing to you know, serve both markets, not only in the restaurant but outside of the restaurant as well. The online store carries Powerhouse Eatery's beverages, homemade pastas and bakery products, as well as partner products carried through their restaurant. That's definitely very exciting for them. They can, you know, do with their kids at home. It's a cool thing to do with your family. You know, cooking definitely brings people together. So whether we're going to bring people together in our physical restaurant, which we love to do every day, we also want to bring people together at their own homes to share their food and the love of making the food and having that whole process as well. Powerhouse Eatery also retails their products through Google products and supports Apple Pay to make purchases as easy as possible. This restaurant is doing more than meets the eye, having charitable aspects to their brand. So a certain percentage of all of the revenue from the store, from our purchases, gets donated to Feeding America. Um, Feeding America is a food pantry network of over 20,000 pantries. They serve 46 million Americans every single year. We have a large part in that through our online store. Any donation that you donate to us, we have a donate tab on our store. We not only match that donation, but we'll also send you a $25 gift card for in our restaurant if you donate 50 or more dollars. Um, and then on top of that, some cool initiatives that we're doing as well is in, in Hazleton, we support the Valor Fund. Um, Valor connects you know, 
veterans to not only food supplies, but also clothing. Um, we help a large part with that through our employees in terms of volunteering. We also donate a lot of food to that. This week, the restaurant switches their plastic straws to paper, holistically looking at their business model to cut back on waste. All of our online store partners are Pennsylvania-based people, which makes it great for us. Um, it's very exciting to work with these partners, and it's especially exciting because we have a restaurant where people come from all over because we're right off of the interstate. And then to be able to go home to New York or some of them go home to Ohio and still get these Pennsylvania-based products is something that's really exciting for us and the partners that we work with. Be sure to check out Powerhouse Eatery's online store at www.pheatery.com slash store. Reporting from Whitehaven for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. Hungry now? Hmm. Coming up on Eckley's News Choice, hike and bike in Community and You. Plus, did you win tickets to the Bloomsburg Fair? The winner's coming up. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is honored to serve you during the Memorial Day sales event. Lease a new Jeep Compass for just $169 a month or get up to $13,731 off a 2018 Ram 1500 Crew Cab during the Jeep Celebration event at All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or online at allamericanjeep.net. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim, ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Spring is here, so stop in and get everything you need to make your garden colorful and bright. Check out our incredible low prices only at Van Hoeken Greenhouses, Retail Garden Center, Lofty Road, McAdoo. WYLN Sports broadcasting live at the Weatherly Hill Climb. WYLN Sports will take you up the hill, past the Devil's Hook, around the Hairpin Turn, and through the Dutchman. All the turn-by-turn -turn coverage of the Weatherly Hill Climb live on WYLN TV 35. Here on WYL and everyone, I'm Gary Perna, and we are out in the community today with Bob Skolski, the executive director of Rails to Trails here. And we are at the trails, we're in the parking lot, and we have some visitors with us, Bob. We, we have a mama bear and her cub who usually here garden the parking lot. But um, we're going to talk about the hike and bike event that's going on. And I can't believe it, you said this is the 15th year for it. 15th year, I can't believe it either. Uh, it was originally started way back 15 years ago to uh, thank all the volunteers who are helping develop the trail but now here we are 15 years later we got almost eight miles of trail on the ground we're looking to expand it into Eckley Miners Village in the very near future and uh, we're still on our quest to reach a Delworthy High National Heritage Corridor uh, down near Sandy Run and uh, uh, the Lehigh Gorge Trail. But this Saturday, Saturday, June 9th, is our big event. Uh, again, the 15th annual. Uh, uh, it gr grows bigger every year. It's a completely free community event. And you don't see too many of those anymore. We have, you know, gr uh, we encourage everybody to get out on the trail to hike and bike. Uh, when they return from the trail, we have uh, informational displays all throughout the parking lot, all outdoor related. Learn what to do if you get a tick on you when you're out walking, uh, things like that. Uh, and then we have the free picnic, and a free picnic is uh, uh, 
hamburgers, hot dogs, meatballs from Genetti's Premier Catering, and you know, all donated food that's available for everybody for free. Uh, we have a basket raffle that goes on, that's very popular. And uh, one of our most popular events is uh, uh, we have the Second Chance Wildlife Center with uh, critters that you might find on a trail. This year we have mammals. The mammals consist of, uh, I, I believe we're going to have skunks, fox, possum, raccoons, animals such as that. Uh, the children and the adults and everyone could learn more about these animals, you know, uh, how they uh, hibernate, what they do, etc., etc. Then we have other things. We have the Imagination Playground that's here from the YMCA for the children to play with, uh, using their imagination to build whatever. And uh, we have uh, uh, just a lot of different things going on. And this is a great event for somebody who may have never been out on the trail here in Hazleton uh, to come out and kind of experience it and learn more about the outdoors that are literally right in our backyard. Uh, very true, very true. And that's part of the event. Uh, after we switch it from, an, uh, you know, just thanking the volunteers, we wanted to get the community out. We wanted to show them the beautiful trail they have. I think it's one of the most beautiful trails in northeastern Pennsylvania. I might be prejudiced, but uh, <laughs> I have a lot of good reasons to say that, too. You, you know, we have, we, we show a lot on our trail. We have the interpretive signage up. We have the benches. We have the picnic tables, picnic areas. So there's a lot to do. We're one of the few trails up in northeastern Pennsylvania that has a uh, 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 play stations for the children and uh, work workout stations, uh, exercise stations for anybody going out on a trail running or mm -hmm. walking or whatever. So we have these added amenities. We have the environmental education area. But uh, yeah, uh, from what I hear this Saturday, the weather's going to be great. We encourage everybody to come out and just have a good time. You know, uh, find out more about the uh, outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania, things you can do uh, uh, in the outdoors. We have streams around the trail here that have the native brook trout in them and we have just about every form of wildlife you, that you're going to find in Pennsylvania on the Greater Hazleton Rails and Trails. And Bob, if somebody wants to come out uh, this Saturday, what time does it kick off and what time does it run till? Okay, uh, 11 a.m. We encourage everybody to be here for 11 a.m. because a lot of the free giveaways we have, uh, you know, are supplies uh, as supplies last. So the sooner you get here, the more sure you're going to get what whatever you're looking for as a handout. But it starts at 11 a.m. We have officials. Uh, uh, well, we start out with uh, Reverend Jim DeRamus, uh, who will uh, uh, mention who adopted benches such as this mm -hmm. and tables and trees along the trail the previous year. They're all usually memorial trees. Mm -hmm. Very nice little service he has. And we also have public officials talk a little bit about the trail. Nothing longer than 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then we start everything. And an environmental walk will start. We're going to have probably around 40, 50 children on the environmental walk again. Mm -hmm. uh, letting them learn about the outdoors they live in. Because a, a, lot, of, a lot of them don't Yo, they really do not know what they have around them. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So there's a lot going on. And again, it is this Saturday, June 9th. You can come out, as Bob said, at 11 o'clock and everything gets kicked off uh, for this event. And you can enjoy nature on a nice day. And hopefully, Bob, we will not run into the real bears uh, <laughs> here on the Rails of Trails in Hazel. Tim, Bob, thanks so much for coming out and talking with us. You're very welcome. And thank you. Thank you for the community support that we get from you guys. And, uh, you know, help promote everything that's happening out on the trail. These people don't know about it, they won't be here. <laughs> exactly. And again, that's this Saturday. So make sure you come out and enjoy the Rails to Trails, a beautiful area we have here in the greater Hazleton area. Thanks for joining us on Community and You. We'll see you next time. Chur's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chur's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chur would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chur's 570-454-7229.
The McAdoo Fire Company's annual bazaar is June 14th through the 16th. June 14th, entertainment is Stillwater Unplugged. June 15th, entertainment is North of 40. And June 16th, entertainment is Toolshed Jack and Just Us Polka Band. Come to the McAdoo Fire Company's annual bazaar in McAdoo. Monday, June 11th at 7.30 p.m., the United States Air Force Heritage of America Band will be hosting a concert at the Wiltsey Center on North Wyoming Street in Hazleton. This concert by the Heritage Winds will be a free concert featuring the world's finest active duty musicians performing modern woodwind compositions and classic favorites for all to enjoy. Monday, June 11th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are free and available at Boscos at the Laurel Mall and also could be printed from evenbright.com. Watch the Hazleton Area High School graduation live on WYLN, June 15th, starting at 6 p.m. Monday. Police were called to 127 East Maple Street for a domestic dispute with a possible overdose victim in an apartment. One male was apprehended by police after jumping out a second story window. Officers still remain on the scene due to the report of a drug overdose. During the search of the premise, police discovered 820 bags of suspected heroin as well as eight handguns were found in plain view. In addition to the weapons and drugs, six cell phones and $1,800 in cash were found. Tuesday, the death of Police Chief Joe Lipset in Rush Township resulted in a special meeting that was held to determine his successor. Ken Zaposki, the former Hazleton police officer and current Mahanoy City Police Chief, was chosen to take over for Lipset. Chief Zaposki will now have to work with both departments for a smooth transition. Wednesday, Hazleton City Council met Tuesday night and brought forth a plan to help offset an $11.6 million deficit that's projected for the Hazleton's pension and general fund through 2022. The plan calls for an increase in the wage tax to offset the raising general fund expenses and pension obligations. Thursday. Thursday morning, the Hazleton area high school was evacuated after an odor was detected by an employee. The building was searched, but the odor was not found. After about an hour after students were evacuated, they were allowed back into the school, and the school day went on as planned. Friday, a former radio talk show host has chosen to run for a seat in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. Sue Henry, who for years was the midday host on WILK News Radio, is entering into the race for the 121st seat. That seat is currently held by Representative Eddie Day Pashinsky. Henry will enter the race on the Republican ticket, replacing Greg Wolfowich, who chose to withdraw from the race. Wolfowich asked the Republican County Committee to join him in endorsing and supporting Henry. That's your weekend review sponsored by Van Holkland Greenhouse's Garden Center, located on the Lofty Road, just outside of McAdoo. We've been telling you about it all week. WYLN teaming up with the Bloomsburg Fair to give someone the chance to go to the fair and watch the Demolition Derby. Tonight, we know who that winner is. A big congratulations to Lynn Sanzi. Yay, Lynn. Starting June 25th, WYLN will have more tickets to give away for events at the fair. So, of course, stay tuned. And again, congratulations. Lynn Sanzi, you have a great time. Now stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Grand Central wants to send you to the Tricky Triangle. Grand Central, everything for your home has four tickets for one lucky winner for the Gander Outdoors 400 July 29th. Entry is easy, just visit Grand Central at either of their locations at Vine Street in Hazleton or the Laurel Mall. 
Fill out the entry blank and place it inside the Grand Central contest box. No purchase necessary, one entry per person. Winner will be announced on WYLN News Thursday before race weekend. This week on Topic A, I'm joined by Charlie Hint. He's a community safety instructor, and he's putting on a new program called Violence in Society. What the program is and how it could benefit you and me. This week on Topic A only on WYLN. WYLN CA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN 1057 East 10th Street in Hazleton, Pennsylvania during normal business hours. To view the report online, visit FCC.org. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You're going to meet Desiree, an inspiring young woman, a busy student who was sidetracked by a car accident. After years of migraines, doctors, and medications, she's found chiropractic care, and she's on her way to wellness. Her story, her inspiring story this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us.